Now, Dr. Keith Ablau is one of the dumbest doctors in America. I don't know why I'm saying one. He's got to be the title holder, at least the intercontinental champion of dumb doctors. All right, now he's a Fox News contributor. He's on their medical A team. I hate to see who's on their medical B team. <laughs> now, <laughs> he's going to talk about the shooting that we brought you yesterday. Carl Reeves Jr., 71 year old. Uh, former cop gets in a fight in a movie theater over another guy just texting his three-year-old daughter. Apparently this Carl Reeves Jr. character has done this many times before, not shoot people but accost people for texting. We just found out in a separate article that Tampa, Bay, uh, Tampa prosecutor Manny, Manny Garcia said that he'd done it to a woman named Janine Dixon on December 28th. That not only had he scowled at her throughout the movie, uh, throughout the movie, not just in the beginning when she was texting, but like, what? Right? But that he had followed her into the bathroom. How scary is that? When they talked to her, she said it could have been us. I mean, if we had confronted him in any way, we could have been the one that was shot. Uh, multiple witnesses came out and said, this guy uh, definitely clearly picked a fight. And in fact, the judge even said, the evidence of guilt is significant. But not to Dr. Keith Ablo. He has a different theory. Let's find it. I think we may have to look at something I'll call data rage, just like road rage. We know that when people interact with machines, that sometimes they feel emboldened to do things that they never would, that it can be tremendously frustrating, and that people who could be vulnerable, by the way, they may be impulsive to begin with or explosive, add in technology or a machine and things can go over the, uh, you know, over the top but, but and become very violent. But wait, 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 wait. The guy texting isn't the guy who use the gun to kill the other guy. He's the one who got shot. He's the one who got shot. What do you mean? Data rage. What is that? Now, you know why they're doing this, right? Because the guy with the gun is never guilty. It, it, the guy who got shot, well, it was his fault. He had data rage. But he didn't have the rage. He got shot. That's such a stupid theory. Even the Fox News host is going to call him out on it. But Dr. Ablo, I should say, it sounds like you're blaming the victim. I mean, it's the victim here who was allegedly all. texting. We've got to blame the shooter here, but in understanding it, we've got to say, wow, that's interesting. There was a machine involved. Now, we also know that in raid, road rage, there's a car involved. People seem to be dehumanized by the presence of this car where because somebody's interacting with the machine and therefore removed from a kind of interpersonal moment here where there are other people around and you want to be sensitive, somebody else becomes unhinged. In interacting with these machines, people do things they would never do and not necessarily the guy pressing the button. It could be the guy two rows back. <laughs> You see, but, yeah, I mean, like, the, yeah, okay, so that guy shot him, okay, but there was a machine involved. I mean, just the sight of a machine, you know, he was texting on a phone, we all have phones. So, according to the brilliant Dr. Ablo, if you have any kind of phone, any kind of machine on you, well, you kind of had it coming, right? I mean, so you see how it's not the gun's fault, it's your phone's fault. You're texting your three-year-old daughter, be by the way, before the movie starts. Yeah, come on. What was the guy gonna do? Not shoot you? <laughs> By the way, look at all these theories. Oh, uh, it was the machine that you were texting, this newfangled machine called a smartphone. I don't know what a, anything smart is. I've never seen it, right? Okay, or a, a car. How about the thing, other non human thing involved here? Right, the one that, the thing that shoots bullets that goes into people and kills them? How about that thing? No, 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 look away, look away, look away. It's not the gun, it's not the gun, it's not the gun. All right, so, well, data rage. Uh, on the upside, I mean, that's obviously a well-established psychological theory, right? I mean, Dr. Abba was a doctor, and I'm sure studied this in law school or something, I'm sorry, in medical school or something, right? Let's find out. This phrase you use, data rage, right? Yes, uh, I, I, I came up with people, that. Uh, you did. Oh, are really? Are other people talking about this <laughs> as influencing well, our behavior? Well, here's the way in which they're talking about this. I get cases as a forensic psychiatrist where lawyers say to me, hey, look, my client, I'm his defense attorney, he did something using the computer I don't think he'd ever have done if it hadn't been for going from link to link to link, and maybe it's about images uh, of even children with a person who's never had any proclivity to do that and no behavior in that regard. What happened? Why would it be? that in interacting with the machine, something different happened mm. that is very negative mm -hmm. and toxic. Mm. Same thing here. Right. We know it with mm. cars. 
let's look for data rage elsewhere. We know it with Facebook. Yeah. Why would kids feel emboldened to bully to the extent that they do on Facebook? Well, because of data rage. I love that, man. So, uh, anybody else talking about this? Well, <laughs> since I just came up with it like seven seconds before we went on air, not really is the correct answer. And by the way, how did he come up with this? You know, if you notice in the middle there, you know, yeah, people on this machine called a computer with a series of tubes that leads to another machine called the internet doesn't quite understand it. Go link to link to link, and you know, they get a raging something. <laughs> I wonder who's doing that at home. And then when he's caught, says, oh honey, it was data rage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was, doctor. Dr. Abloh. Oh God, if you go to this doctor, God help you.